So today I decided to come and visit the Koba ruins to see what's going on and it's quite impressive. I feel like I'm in Lara Croft's Tomb Raider game. Yet again, I am spellbound. People used to live here. People actually used to live here. It's just amazing. It feels, it feels amazing. And of course, this Caribbean weather. Living freely. What a contrast to 2020 and 2021. When you've got these people trying to control I'm in love with how this place has helped me to feel on this day. I will carry this code with me now forevermore. This place has a fantastic vibrational frequency. I can feel it coming through this soft stone beneath my feet and all around in the air of this jungle. So the tarantulas and the scorpions and these amazing little jungle paths. Now I come into my element. So we've got this lovely path that I've been walking along very nicely, like a good little human. And now we've got a slightly more beaten track. <laughs> no bicycle up there. No bicycles. This is gonna be fun. Oh, this is really what I've been wanting for a while is just to be able to walk through <clears throat> jungle. And here I am. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you to the creator within for making this happen. This nature here is really quite beautiful. I must say,
these trees. Yeah, it's nice. Mmm. <sighs> Ooh. There's another ruin down here. Interesting. It's amazing how we can go from feeling really low and angry and almost oppressive to really happy and at peace within ourselves once again. It doesn't take much. Oh wow, look at this. I think we found us a tarantula. Look at that. Okay, he's starting to come towards me now. <laughs> Go away. That's huge. The camera doesn't do it justice. He's actually walking towards me because he thinks I'm a tree. Go away. <laughs> So here we have the astronomical mound. So mound astronomica. Something that the Mayans were quite famous for. Keeping of time. And how they kept time was through the stars and the alignments of the planets. The good old Mayan calendar that ended in 2012. I wonder if this very building, this very structure was a part of that. It's quite possible because this is the region of the Maya. This, the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico, Mexico. It would be cool if I could go inside it. I don't think there really is actually an inside. But they knew what they were doing. This place is filled with magic. Mayan magic. Is a replica. The copy. Eight hundred still. One thousand fifteen. Just <laughs> the energy here is really, really nice. Maybe it's just me being out here in the middle of the jungle, walking along this path to the ruins and among the ruins that's grounding me in. 
but also really considering what came before me walking this path here or who the Mayans this is the Mayan Riviera they built these ruins here these white limestone and granite it's a beautiful place wasn't feeling my best yesterday and and this morning so this is very relieving just to be here walking among these trees just reminding myself that everything will be okay if it isn't feeling okay right now so all is well the smells here as well are beautiful I don't know quite what that is there's no forest in England that really smells like this I can tell you it's beautiful though I feel very grateful to be here. Attempting to do a ceremony here. <clears throat> Some kind of ceremonial practice to ground with this land. To anchor it in. <clears throat> 